Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Wellington in the Peninsula. It looks like a Ziploc game from, get this, this is from 1975. The, what does that say? The Morningside Game Project, published by Ran Game Associates. Interesting. Yeah, this is an uncommon game here. I've actually never seen this. This belongs to Len. He just let me borrow it so I can do an unboxing of it. Let's see what's in here. Got the counters here. Counters are don't even have standard <coughs> uh, military symbols on them. These are pretty rudimentary counters. I'm sure they're functional though. Here are some that are unpunched. Let's look at the map. Looks like some kind of area map. It's so all on the Iberian Peninsula here. Interesting, there's uh, Madrid, Gibraltar. And down here is a turn record chart and reinforcement table. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what else is in here. Here's a rule book itself. Let's see how many pages we have. Doesn't have page numbers, wow. <laughs> All right, does it have a description of what the game's about? Wellington and the Peninsula. Wellington and the Peninsula is a strategic level area movement system war game of the Peninsular Campaign of 1808 to 1814 during the Napoleonic Wars. Wellington and the Peninsula consists of nine separate and complete situation games of from six to twelve game turns each in one campaign game of 72 game turns. Wellington and the Peninsula is played on a map, blah blah blah. Alright, we get the idea. So on the units themselves, you have some kind of uh, so CSP, I assume is, uh, what is that, combat strength point and a movement allowance, and that's it. Oh, I guess you do have a few, like the uh, Siege Train has a pitcher on it, and so does a leader. But other than that, they're pretty rudimentary. All right, now it's going over reinforcements, changing unit denominations. All right, so if you have one that's 10 strength points, you can uh, exchange it for two of five strength two five strength point units it's going over movement and then C movement combat supply occupation and control fortification siege and siege trains Cadiz and Gibraltar and then there's some British special rules like Royal Marine raids British sea evacuation British Mediterranean garrison combat control and French French special rules such as French guerrilla attrition French occupation forces and then you have Spanish and Portuguese special rule, Spanish command control rule, Spanish national junta, whatever. Um, oh, that's the Spanish anti-Napoleonic revolutionary government. All right. Then it's going over Spanish combat strength limitations, Portuguese. Portuguese combat strength limitations, Portuguese militia capitals, and there's optional rules such as leaders and hidden movement. So far, this doesn't look like it's going to be that difficult to play, but let's read on. Maybe I'll eat my words, but we'll see. All right, free setup. French optional reinforcements arrival, and then it's got winter rules and multi-commander games. Looks like that's it. Yeah, this looks like... Uh, Probably not a difficult game to learn. All right, situation one, which I assume is scenario one. All right, there's scenario one, two, eight. Looks like there's nine scenarios, and then there's a campaign game. Okay, and it's got some uh, historical background on the Peninsula campaign here. Interesting. Looks like kind of a unique game. Combat results table. Here's your reinforcement force march attrition table and guerrilla attrition table and loss of national Spanish national junta table. Thanks for watching. I have to tell Len to uh, run this game sometime so we can try it out. Have a good evening.